What family secret do you know, that you're not supposed to know? My paternal grandmother hated my mother. One day she called my mom and asked her to come over and pick up a casserole my grandma had made for us. When she got there, my grandmother had shot herself and left a note saying, among other things, that she wanted my mom to find her that way. She was, shall we say, a messed up lady and one of the meanest people I've ever known. My mom didn't want people to know because she didn't want that kind of attention. My dad didn't want people to know because he didn't want to give my grandma any level of satisfaction. So it's just me, them and maybe one other person who knows. Everyone else thinks she was just an old lady who was depressed about her recently deceased husband. My mom lied about how my dad died. Myself and my brother were told he died to cancer. He wrote us each letters of goodbyes and I still have mine. When I turned 18 the truth came out, he died in a murder-suicide with his wife, my stepmom, her lover, who was also a psychiatrist. Turned out his wife was cheating on him with his doctor and while my dad had some psychological issues the doctor purposely prescribed him medication that worsened his paranoia. When he found out about the affair he shot them both and then himself. For more background, my dad had manic bipolar depression. He was prone to extreme anxiety and paranoia when off the correct medication. I do not know what the medication he was given was but I do know it made him far far worse in his paranoia and manic episodes. His wife is the one that initially had the idea about the doctor prescribing the medication in the first place. When he found all the evidence his already broken mind completely snapped. He planned the murders and his suicide, he wrote us all goodbyes. That my uncle committed suicide and that my grandmother committed suicide shortly after due to depression from my uncle's suicide. I found out from a random older friend of the family. None of my cousins knows this happened. That my mom banged two brothers, one of them is my biological dad. And it's not the one she married. My mom lied to a man and told him I was his son and frequently extorted money from him by telling him she needed it to raise me. I found out when he showed up with gifts shortly after I had moved out on my own. He had hired a personal investigator after my mom refused to give him my contact info. He apologized for not being in my life and cried while telling me he was dying of pancreatic cancer and he didn't want to go without meeting me. I asked my mom about it and she told me she told him that so she could get money for drugs after she left my dad. DNA tests confirmed he was not my dad, I tested myself against the man I was always told was my bio dad. I only ever met him the one time. I took the gifts because it was such a surreal experience I didn't know how to tell him anything other than that I forgave him. My mom is the only other person that knows this happened. My Welsh great-grandmother had passage booked on the Titanic in 1912. She ended up not going because she fell ill. Turns out it was actually an out-of-wedlock pregnancy that gave her such bad morning sickness, she couldn't go. She lost the baby. She came the following year in 1913 and met my great-grandfather. She only told my mom, who she helped raise during the summers, who then told me. Great-grandma got knocked up saved an entire branch of our family tree. My grandma was raised in a Catholic orphanage under the pretext that she lost both her parents and siblings during the Spanish influenza. Turns out her and her dad survived, but her dad didn't want to take care of her so he left her at an orphanage in Brooklyn and moved to Europe and started a new family. My great-grandma told my grandpa that the Jewish girl he liked was taken to a concentration camp when in truth they fled, it is said she knew they were safe. Grandpa meets my grandma shortly after, they get married but apparently he still talked about the other girl from time to time and that she was the one who got away and how awful it all was. Many years go by, my aunt and dad are born. Grandpa walks around town and meets the girl from back then, is totally shocked and finds out he has been lied to all this time. Grandpa got sick pretty soon after that and died when my dad was only 5 years old. My grandma later once said she believes he died of a broken heart. This is pretty mild, but a part of my mom's side is very, very convinced they're Irish. In all the American, kiss me I'm Irish ways. My grandparents took a trip there. They spent a lot of time at a local pub, getting to know Irish singers and poets, my cousins have very Irish names, etc. I took a few ancestry tests to nail down the rest of my mom's side, not a single percent Irish in any of them. The family name, common in Irish Americans, is actually a Swiss surname that got translated at some point, according to the genealogy trace I also had done. My now deceased grandparents want their ashes spread into the Irish sea and my mom and her siblings are planning a big trip to do it. I'm taking the secret to my grave. My great-great-grandfather moved from Romania to America and got married to another Romanian immigrant shortly after he arrived. 
Once they married he insisted they start using American names, only speak English in public, never return to Romania, and refrain from communicating with family in the old country. When my great-grandmother, his daughter, was a teenager it was discovered by the rest of the family that he actually abandoned his first wife and three children in Romania and left them in extreme poverty when he came to the States and married my great-great-grandmother. My older brother might only be my half-brother. About 10 or so years ago, I went out drinking with my dad for his birthday. He got hammered, and told me that when he and my mom first got together, she was still in a relationship with a really abusive guy. She got pregnant around the time that she left him, so there's about a 50-50 chance that my older brother is the other guy's biological son. I asked him if he ever thought about getting tested to find out and he said no. I don't care what any test says, that is my son. He also got emotional at one point and told me he really regretted talking me out of going to school for what I originally wanted to do in favor of what I do now. Later on, he punched the glass out of a jukebox because he thought it'd be funny. The whole night was a roller coaster. The next day, he seemed to have no recollection of telling me that bombshell about my brother and I never brought it up again. I'll never tell my brother, and I'll never tell my parents that I know about it. As a side note, it would explain a lot. My brother and I don't even look related, but we always just shrugged our shoulders whenever friends asked us how we could be siblings when we look so different. I feel the same way my dad does, he's my brother, not half-brother, no matter what any test might say. I'm at peace with the fact that I'll never really know for sure. I have faint memories from when I was a kid of an aunt on my father's side. I remember her being thin and sad with blonde hair. No one would talk to me about her and I didn't remember a name until one day the name Karen just hit me. Don't laugh, this was the 70s and Karens weren't really a thing. Neither my older or younger siblings remember her and no one would talk about her. No pictures, nothing. About two years before his death in 2018, I was talking to my grandfather and looking through pictures with him when I found the woman from my memories and asked about her. My father had a sister, Karen. She was born in 1948. When she was a baby, my grandfather took her out to his woodworking shop just to hang out with him while he worked. He sat her on a workbench, turned to grab some tools and turned around just in time to see her hit the floor head first. He said that he'd remember the sound for the rest of his life, like dropping a watermelon. They took her to the local doctor, but he said he didn't find anything wrong. For the rest of her life, she suffered from debilitating headaches and later, schizophrenia. When she was 26, she called him from a city about six hours away, from a payphone. She was sobbing about voices that wouldn't stop talking and that she couldn't take it anymore. He immediately jumped in his car and made it there in four hours, but the police had already found her dead in her car with a hose running from the exhaust pipe into a window. I am the only one who seems to know she existed. My mother doesn't remember her, or denies it. My dad passed away. Both grandparents are gone too. But I remember her face and her telling me it was okay to be sad. Grandpa said she was always interested in me. I'm neurodivergent and really struggled with social skills as a child. I think that it made her feel less alone. My dad had a daughter before I was born and never admitted it to anyone in the family. He was basically on his deathbed when he admitted it to me. I was able to track down my half-sister a few years back and we were to meet but she was very emotional about the whole thing and she backed out at the last minute. I have since left her alone. My grandfather died when I was 17. The part I am not supposed to know, which my mom, who has never been able to keep a secret in her life, told me, is that he didn't die of natural causes. He waited until his social security check arrived for my grandmother to cash, and then took a bottle of pills and rank a bottle of gin. My grandmother found him like that, and then called my mom to come over and help her put him in bed so she could tell everyone he died in his sleep. He was old, so nobody did an autopsy or anything. Grandma and Grandpa did love each other and were married but weren't together. Grandma was gay and Grandpa was her best friend. She wanted kids so they had kids but she had her love Auntie Doreen, as we called her. Grandpa was free to do whatever he wanted and to our knowledge never had a dedicated partner besides my grandmother. Just the times, glad they could make it work for them.